Good evening, guys. This is Patience, and um, oh, I'm just moving the camera. I'm sorry. And today is, I don't even know what today is, but it's about, it's Thursday morning, probably about noon, midnight. Midnight. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I'm getting sleepy. And um, we did a shoot tonight uh, um, uh, for, for the show that I work for, and it was very interesting. And um, I think I've learned a very, very valuable lesson from tonight. And it truly, I'm truly, truly inspired by things that I see um, go on around me. Um, and I think the topic of tonight is uh, purpose. And that's what I've been given to discuss with you tonight. And the reason I chose to discuss purpose is because purpose takes people a long way. <clears throat> and as I presented my show tonight and then after I work on my set, I go and um, assist. I went, well, my producer invited me to assist on other productions. And the other productions were um, just, for instance, I'll just tell you two of them, but both of them. One was on sex traffic, sex trafficking, 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 I don't know, sex trafficking. I can't even say it right. But, and then the other was just um, kind of like an open, open dialogue with a, uh, minister on board who answered questions and um it was very interesting and my show was the senior steppers and as i was talking to those ladies um most of those ladies are over 50 over 50 and they're they're enjoying themselves and a lot of them have a uh, disability not disabilities but have things that hold them back from everyday life. A lot of them talk about knee replacement, hip replacements, and just a lot of obstacles that can happen to you when you're older or seasoned. But I must say, this has been one of the best experiences of my life, working for this TV station. I swear, I kid you not, even though it's not a paid job, I am paid tremendously through the outpouring of love that's received from the people who are able to get their story out, who feel like they have a voice in an area of just presenting who they are. And just knowing that these people are humbled and knowing that someone wants to hear why their organization is best or why their organization is important to the community or what the organization, organization does, it is a major thing. And that brought me to the point of t discussing purpose with you guys tonight. You know, purpose. When you think of purpose, you think of what's my purpose. Um, that's a big statement. What is my purpose? When I think of purpose, I don't think of if I think of only my purpose, my purpose doesn't involve anyone else. And, but looking at the information that was presented today, um, purpose carries others very far. And I'm giving, I want to leave you with something to think about. Once again, I say purpose carries others far, as well as yourself. Purpose carries others far. And some people, once you learn to follow your purpose, do you know how many people you could possibly bring to God or bring to Christ? Because as you walk out your purpose, your life affects so many. And if I take the senior step group and the way they talked about 
their group and their team and how they all had debilitating arthritic problems and just problems in their hips and it, it, it was very inspiring for me because it started with one lady who heard from God and someone spoke a positive thing into her program and said, hey, you're on to something and you need to take this elsewhere. And then someone else spoke other things into the program. And here she is, a lady who works with seniors four to five days a week and she's living out her purpose and just to hear the way that lives are being changed through her purpose is a wonderful thing because as people experience your purpose guess what they get to experience the love of God and there's nothing greater than his love because even at work as I think about purpose and people and meeting people and all those things some people don't ever get to feel the love of God till they feel it from a human being. Then they'd be like, hey, there's something in that person that, that makes her so lovable. And I and I want to know what that is. When people are drawn to you, and then once they're drawn to you, they start to see your lifestyle. And they start to see that you're a believer. And there's nothing greater than being a believer and serving God. Because once you start serving your purpose, you never know how many lives you'll change. Let's keep going. Another example of purpose. As I was coming to the end of the show, I thought about Mr. Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong's, the name of the show is American Heartbeats. And he showcased positive things. Now, Mr. Armstrong found his purpose. He is a hobbyist. All he does is volunteer. Every day, all day. Eight to ten hours a day, he volunteers. When I say this man is so dedicated to um he's a he's a very I don't know, he's so dedicated to his purpose and that's showing people in a different light, people who care people who are everyday heroes and people who are just proven to be heroes and just I mean I'm blown away so imagine if he had not found his purpose or his calling how many people would not be exposed to the things that they are exposed to right now all of the organizations that support kids families um, health things how many lives has he touched just through his purpose so once you find your purpose you can touch many lives and other people begin to find their purpose by you speaking life into them so speak life into others tell them how wonderful they are tell them what they're good at and hopefully they're going to speak life into someone else and we all will be guided through purpose the world is built on pe people and we'll say relationships who are purpose, purpose driven. Had I, met, had I not met Mr. Armstrong, I would not have found out that I love community service so much. And in the, in, and in the capacity that I do, I don't mind volunteering. I don't mind driving downtown. So, and just through that, I have an opportunity to reach so many people and express God's love and grace. So um, I hope this message reach you or reach you where you are and you discover your purpose. Even if you don't know your purpose and you're working towards your purpose, there's purpose in the process. See, it always goes back to purpose. So there is purpose in the process. So things that you learn along the way will help you sow seeds into someone else's life so i hope you continue to have a great re week and think about how important your purpose is how important your purpose can change how your purpose can change another man's life and how his purpose because of you can change another man's life because 
everything is built on purpose. So I hope you have a great day and great evening. And thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support. Thank you.